general data protection regulation? That's a lot of words. And too much information. GDPR is the abbreviation. I'm still going to need a little translation. Here we go. <laughs> it's G to the D to the P to the R. What's G to the D to the P to the R? It's D to the D to the P to the R. What's G to the D to the P to the R? General data protection regulation puts you in control of all your information. Data privacy is on a new station. GDPR just changed the conversation. About what? About who controls your data and knowing your rights. I don't see the need for all this oversight. Look, I'm not looking to engage in a fight about who's wrong, You're wrong. and who's oh, right. Before anyone else jumps to conclusions, let's eliminate any confusion. GDPR is so you better tune into what's going down in the European Union. I'm not in Europe. How does this apply to me? Doug, we all work in a global economy. Most businesses, regardless of location, are conducting business in European nations. What is it, Jada? It's G to the D to the P to the R. What's G to the D to the P to the R? It's G to the D to the P to the R. What's G to the D to the P to the it's R? It's your information that should be respected. Now you have control over data collected. When the info's wrong, you can make them correct it. Your right to be forgotten is always protected. Right to be forgotten? What does that mean? If you want your data gone, they have to wipe it clean. Any request for erasure must be met on demand. I thought that Erasure was an 80s band. It's rare that I issue an apology, but I'm sorry I don't get this ideology. Let's start with some basic terminology. Here's your crash course in GDPRology. Should I take notes? Will this be on a quiz? No, but do you know what a data subject is? The customer, the client, the employee are all data subjects. Like you and like me. It's G to the D to the P to the R. What's G to the D to the P to the R? It's G to the D to the P to the R. What's G to the D to the P to the R? This GDPR thing, I still have my doubts. All it takes is sound judgment to figure it out. Two types of data I can tell you about. Ooh, that sounds riveting. This is where I check out. Personal data are the things that describe you. Any information that helps identify you. Your name, ID, bank and telephone numbers. Addresses. Email IP and the place that you slumber. Sensitive data are in a class of their own. Race, religion, your political tone. Pending litigation? Ever been on probation? What that. about personal health information? Why would they need that? It's your right to know. No one can use your data without telling you so. And they can only use it for the purpose collected. And that's only after you've checked the box and consented. Jada, I'm impressed you're really starting to get this. We can make our lives simpler if we simply forget this. Human error? I defy your defiance. Everybody needs to have the reliance that companies step up and are in alliance and follow the rules of GDPR compliance. What happens to companies that fall out of line? Non-compliance carries significant fines. 4% of revenue. Now that's pretty dire. Or 20 million euros, whichever is higher. Data breach is a serious business. Know what to do if you're ever a witness to something out of line when data's at stake. If you see something, say something. That's a mistake. This compliance stuff can still be debated. Data protection is way overrated. Do we really need all this drama? Why would anyone listen to a guy in pajamas? That's GDPR. Uh, uh, uh.